and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. You've already done the hardest part of your workout, and that's starting it. Pushing play, hardest part. My name's Regina, I'm with Personal Changes Training, and I'm so honored to be um, welcomed here by Power to Move, and today we are going to be working our upper body. I have my lovely assistant, Mike, with me. He's gonna be using weights, so, or balls. Um, you can use anything, cans, water bottles, whatever. Me, I'm not gonna be using weights because I'm gonna be just contracting my muscles. The first thing I wanna talk about is our core. Core is core. So I wanna make sure that everyone is sitting up nice and tall and you have your core contracted. You know that feeling that you get like you're about to laugh or cough? Uh, that's what we're feeling right here. So first thing we're gonna do is give you a big neck circle and just circle your neck. Our neck is the most used muscle and the most forgotten about muscle. Let's go the other way. We tend to hold a lot of stress in our neck, so we're just going to roll it all out. And then I want you to take your ear to shoulder. So you're going to come here, ear to shoulder, and center, and other ear. No tension in your neck. Good job. Now we're going to take our chin to chest and look up. One more time. And up. Let's roll our shoulders. Now I'm not going to have you roll your shoulders forward because we spend so much of our time like this anyway with our shoulders forward. Instead, let's take our hands out right here like this. And I want you to open. Let's not clap. Hold on. We'll come here. And open and close. So you're opening your chest and closing. We're going to do just a few more. And now let's squeeze our elbows back. So keeping your shoulders down, squeeze. Really trying to get like your shoulder blades to touch. Good. All right. Those arms feel warm? Ready to lift some weights now? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna work all five major muscle groups for our upper body. And we're gonna start with our bicep muscle. Now I'm gonna do 10 sets on your right, 10 sets on your left, and then if you're up for the challenge, we're gonna do both. So first things first, shoulders up, back, and down, core contracted. We're gonna take our right hand right here, and you're gonna squeeze, contracting your muscle up, and down. Now you're always exhaling at the hard part. Good. A couple things to think about. Making sure your shoulder stays down and your elbow stays back. You got three more on this side and then we're going to switch. Here's your last one. Hold on, I like one more, one more. Always one more. Good. Job. Now let's go over to that left side. Ready? Let's make sure our shoulders are down. Right here. Ready? Exhale up. Another thing to think about when you're doing your bicep curls, you never want to bend your wrist. Keep your wrist straight. I'm going to show you the wrong way. Right here. That. Never bend your wrist. Exhaling up. Going slow. Keep that belly button pulled in nice and tight. All right, now here's our last one. Good. Now here's our challenge. We're going to try both of them on the same arm. Here we are, both, both bicep, or both arms working. Ready, and exhale up. And down. Now I know you want to speed up. You're ready to be done with this. No, we go slow when we do weights. Do cardio fast. Weights always slow. So much harder to go slow. But we're gonna go slow so we can squeeze. Very good. Three more. Really contract your muscles. Here's your last one. You want an extra credit? Let's do an extra credit. Here it is. And done. Sit this down, shake it out. Now, even though I'm not using weights, I am really squeezing and contracting my muscle and still really working it. So now we're going to go to the paired muscle to the tricep, the back of our arm. So we're going to start with just our right arm, shoulders up, back, and down. 
Let's get this arm all the way straight, and you're gonna take it back. Ready, big exhale. I'm gonna turn over here just so you can see my arm. Hold on, anyway, there we go. So you can squeeze and see how I'm going back. And back. There we go. Hold it a second. When you get it back as far as you can, little smile right here. Smile. And down. Good. Keep that shoulder down. You got two more on this side. Exhale. And exhale. Good. And let's get that other arm. Shake it out. Shoulders up, back, and down. Ready, set, and go. Exhale. Perfect. Do you feel that connection in your belly button? When that arm goes back, I want you pulling your belly button in. And exhale. Now this is your last one. Get it back there, get it back there. Smile. And release it. All right, shake it out. Here's both arms. Here we go. Big breath in. Shoulders up, back, and down. Ready? And exhale. Back. And release. And back. Smile. And release. Really feeling that connection in your belly button. No tension in your neck or your shoulders. Squeeze. Last three. Two more. And then I got an extra special surprise at the end. Here it is. Ready? Hold this. Get up here. Now, stick your chest up even more. Yeah, okay, ready? We're gonna take our arms up just an inch higher. Ready? Up. And then here's our extra, extra credit. We're gonna do little pulses. Ready? And go. Up, up. Yeah, it hurts. Five, four, three, two, one, and you are done. Sit it down, shake it out. I don't even have weights and that got me. Very good job. All right, next, we're gonna work our shoulders. We're gonna go and do overhead presses. Now this is very important. We don't wanna get frozen shoulder. We gotta use it or we're gonna lose it. So we're gonna hold our weight right here and you're just gonna lift up as high as you can. Ready? Set and exhale up. And down. And up. And down. Now the first thing I wanna remind you about this move is even though we're working our shoulders, we're not raising our shoulders. Keep these shoulders out of your ears. And exhale. Last three. Get it up as high as you can. Slow down, enjoy it, enjoy it. Here's your last one. Let's do one more. Super slow, how slow can you go? Oh, I know, you can go slower. We'll try it on the other arm. Let's see if we can go slower on the other arm. Shake it out. Shoulders up, back and down. Set, and go. Exhale, lift up. Very nice. So you just lift your arm up as high as you can. And exhale. You feel that belly button pulling in as your arm goes up. Exhale, last two. Last one, let's try to go slower. Slower, 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 slower. And down. Good job, sit that down, shake it out. All right, so here's my extra challenge for you. We're gonna work, see when we did it here, we worked the front of our shoulder. We're gonna open out nice and wide and try to work the middle part of our shoulders as wide as you can. So we're gonna come here, I call this my field goal position. Right here, so we got our field goal. Ready, let's touch them up top. Big breath. Exhale, push up. Very good. Right back down. Squeeze. So again, our shoulders are not coming up. You may not be able to come up as high. That's okay. Do the best that you can do. And exhale. Pull that belly button in. Last two. Okay, last one. How slow can you go? Let's have a slow contest. Ready? Who can go slower? Very good. And I won. And we're done. Set these down. Shake it out. All right. 
Next, we're going to work our back. So we're gonna do a row. Now, if you can, I want you to try and lean forward just a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lean, we're gonna grab right here, and you're gonna row this elbow up. So we're gonna keep our shoulder down and our elbow up, just like that. Ready, I'm counting now, here we go. And squeeze. So there's no room between your arm and your side here. And squeeze that elbow up, perfect. Squeeze. Shoulder stays down. We got two more. One more. Who are you pulling that belly button in? Squeeze and hold and smile and release it. Oh, shake it off. All right, let's get that other side. Big breath in. Leaning forward, ready, set, and go. Squeeze that elbow. Now, if you want to get fancy, you could even add a little bit of a twist. That extra squeeze and smile. Just make sure that shoulder stays down. Belly stays in. Keep your neck long. Shoulders like to come up in our ears on this one. Oh, here's our last one. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release it slowly. Very good. All right, shake it off. Now, we're gonna do both arms. So I want you to think about between your shoulder blades, like snapping a pencil. Try to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Here we go, big breath. Lean forward if you can, and squeeze. Good. So I'm not doing anything special. You don't have to hurt your neck looking up at me. I'm never ever working your neck. Your neck should never hurt. Get those elbows up, squeeze. I know our shoulders like to come up on this one. Six. Think about those shoulder blades. Snap that pencil, snap it. We're gonna do three more. Squeeze. Last two. I think we need extra credit on this one too, don't you think so? Sure. I thought so. Here we go. Bring those elbows up. Squeeze. Just get the elbows up and squeeze. Smile. And slowly release it. And rest. Shake your hands out. All right, I don't know how we made it to the end already. I mean, you probably, yeah, I know. You probably are like, yeah, I'm so ready for the end. This is our last move. I'm very particular on this move. I want to show you a couple things. So we're working our chest right here. Or actually, we're working this trace minor. It's where our arm and our chest connects. So we're going to have our arms like this. Now, if you have them bent, you're working biceps. If you have them straight, you're working your back. So I really want that little hook. Good. Ready? Shoulders up, back, and down. Oh, we're doing one at a time. Look, I was getting too excited. Right arm first. Here we go. And exhale up. Just the right. And right back down. So you should be able to feel this immediately right here. Again, shoulder stays down. Very good. And you don't even have to go that far back. Over and there. You already got the weights, too. Here's your last one right here. Squeeze it. And release. Very good. Shake that out. Let's get that other side. Big breath in. Lean forward if you can. Ready? And let's go. Always thinking about the muscle that you're working, and you will work it that much more. We only got five more, and squeeze right here. That's what we're working, and squeeze. You got that belly button in. This is your last one. I like, hold on, one more, one more. And now we're done. And rest. 
Sit that down, shake it out. Here's our grand finale. Both of them. Ready? Right here. Set and go. Let's open. Keep those shoulders down. And exhale. You got five more. Last four. Last three. Squeeze it. All right, this is our last one right here. And done. <sighs> Set those weights down. You are done. Now, the best part is stretching. We have to stretch our muscles. This is the dessert for our muscles. Don't cheat your muscles out of the dessert. It's the only dessert you need. All right, so we're gonna take, let's start with this left arm, and we're gonna take both arms here, here, and then here. So you're pulling. Now, you wanna feel this stretch all across right here in your arm. You're just pulling it, keeping your shoulder down. Stretch your muscle. Stretching is the most important thing you can do, especially after your workout. You want to hold your stretches for at least 30 seconds. We're going to do about 15 more and really stretch. Never be satisfied with your stretch. Try to get a little more and a little more. And for a person that uses my shoulders all the time for everything as a wheelchair user, this is my favorite stretch. Good. Well, let's do it again on the other arm. Right here. And, oh, hold on. So here and here. I like this stretch because it stretches everything in your arm. You feel it in your shoulder, your bicep, and you can even kind of pull here a little bit and bend it and feel it in your tricep as well. Just reach, reach, reach. If you don't do anything else, you should stretch your muscles. Motion is the body's lotion. You gotta move to improve. Now release this. I'm gonna show you a tricep stretch. Now, you can take this arm and you can take it here and just push that arm back. That might be a little easier for you. Or you can come here and pull it back this way. But you should feel this stretch all right in here. It's amazing. Mm. Today we just worked our five major um, muscle groups for our upper body. Again, our shoulders, biceps, triceps, chest, and your back. So if it wasn't enough for you, you know, you could always rewind it, watch it again. That's fine. Release it. And I want you to stick your chest out nice and tall. I don't know where you're watching it, but we're Texans here, so we're tall Texans. We're going to come up right here. Now I want you to round your back. This is also, you can call this like a sitting cat and a cow. Open it up and then round it back. I thank you again for joining us. If you would like to see me again, you can always visit my website at personalchangestraining.com. I do online programs as well, as well as virtual personal training. Um, whatever I can do um, to help you, if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, anything else you want to say? Just thanks for moving. All right. Well, thank you again for my lovely assistant. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And keep moving. Have a great day.